half, 50 and 50. So totally, the silk room, they can live for 50 days, five zero. This is hold the life, 50 days. Short life, yeah. but they make a lot of silk. <laughs> one, uh, one mile of the filament, yes, for 50 days. So here, we can have some, the raw silk, or the pure silk. They are only, not one silk, they are southern, southern silk, southern cocoons filaments. They cause a single thread, only one seventh of the normal hair. So they're very easy to break, very fine, and they easy, easy to break it. So we must twist eight or ten together to be a stronger thread. Otherwise, it will be too thin. Yeah. So this is all the pure silk. A silk is very colorful, different colors. So we take them to another workshop for dyeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we know the dyeing material for the real silk. Still the secret, not open to the public. But we know the dyeing material for silk, they are natural, not any chemicals. Mm -hmm. Still naturals from trees, flowers, and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So that is why still the secret. So this is all the pure silk, the rose silk. Mm -hmm. And here, in this box, you can see the two cocoons. This one is smaller and this one is bigger. Can you guess why? Male, female. Male, female. You said one male, female? Do you know? You, mean you don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, this one, the smaller one, not, they are not two, it's not male or female. Smaller one, we call it a single cocoon. This bigger one, they are twins. Really? Oh. Twins. Twins. <laughs> twins. So smaller, single, we call the single cocoon because there are one silk worm inside. All the silk thread is from their mouth. The silk thread, one silk thread, one filament around the body to make one small size cocoon. This bigger one, why we get twins? Actually helps them. When they are 25 days old, we put the two silk worms together. If they like each other, or maybe they fall to love, when they fall <laughs> like each other, they will stay together. So they have two filaments, two filaments around both the body to make one bigger size cocoon. So they are twins inside. Yes? So if they don't like each other, they will go separate it to make two small single cocoons. Yeah, but only 5% we can get this. Really? Wow. Twins, it seems they all like freedom. They don't want to stay together. They don't need more room. So we have 95% of the single, 5% are the twins. So different cocoon have different usage, different function. For the single cocoon, I said one mile. So we can find the beginning and then one mile to the end. But the twins, these twins, the filament is just like this, all twisted. So it's impossible to find out the beginning or the end. Maybe some people, oh, it's a rubbish, just throw away. No. So the twins even is more useful. It's not like more useful, it's different function. So during the World War II, we used twin cocoons for the parachute. Oh, wow. That's very strong. Yeah. And nowadays we use these twin cocoons for the silk comforter. Mm. Yeah, silk duvet. So some family they use the cotton, some family use goose feathers. But in China or in Suzhou, we all use the silk one. Because the silk one is first of all, it's cool in summer, warm in winter. When you feel it, it's just like a feel piece of cloud. Mm. And then free dust. You shake it, no dust. So it is anti-allergy. And this is such a hot city and humid. It's very easy to have the like backache, arthritis and rheumatism. So silk duvet is very good for these people having problems. So we say nowadays the silk this silk duvet is still the best wedding present. <laughs> yeah. And then later in the workshop, we can see how to make that. And uh, this is a modern country now, modern city. And all everything is done by machines. You see, everything is done by machines. 